Welcome to my new Berlin HQ, to this fancy Neubau Miete apartment that we are subletting for the first three months we are here. So we just moved from Munich four or five days ago. This week is just going to be settling in and then we have to get apartment handy to find our own place. So hopefully it's not too difficult. This week I'm just going to draw, I'm just going to explore the neighborhood a little bit. I'm back at work, back at the design shop where I used to work before we left to Munich. And it's really nice just to have this structure in the week or again. I had like a trial period in Munich for six months where I only worked with my illustration and it's just not enough yet. Um, so it's good to have that stability again. And it's good to be in a place that I know, where I know some people and it's great. I can't wait to show you around all my favorite places. And uh, But yeah, this week settling in. Okay, this is my new local park where I come with Eddie like twice a day and Sib is making fun of me because it's really not that special. I mean, I, I, I think it is. Um, and this is the view. We got a fence to him there. They got some dry grass over here. There's a really nice patch of birch trees over there I'll show you. And some other fancy facilities. I love it here. Also, look at this. Wait, Eddie, come here. <laughs> I promise it wasn't me. DC Pulak. <laughs> Amazing. Whoa, they even got trampolines. Okay. We're not alone here, and I'm still a little bit self conscious filming here in Berlin because everybody is so cool. Too cool for vlogging. Anyway. So you can come sit here, have a picnic and there's the birch tree section and I'll show you later. It's at Nordbahnhof, this place. It's in Mitte and always super calm, really. I want to come draw here one day. I come every morning with Eddie and sometimes during the day as well. Okay, here's the birch tree area. I just love birch trees. I think they're my favorite tree. So beautiful. So I'm drawing this drawing from the park and then randomly I just <laughs> did this little thing. It was supposed to be in the park but I think this one would work better if it was just like a smaller frame, just like this much, like just the face and the fans are to them. So I think I'm gonna do a funny short one of these two. And it will say, I love it here. Ich liebe es hier. This is a little crazy. Um, I'm trying some more. <laughs> this could also be an animation. <laughs> like going from from this to this crazy one. I'm gonna try it. What a day. I got home from work. I was at the shop all day. Even half a day with Eddie. See, we dropped him off because he had to go out to do some work. And now I came home and I need to do the drawing for the video. And I got two really great emails in my mailbox. Um, it looks like I'm gonna be doing my first children's book story. I mean, illustration for the children's book. And the story is so, so nice. 
It's for a publishing house in Slovenia with a writer I really, really like and he's so nice and helpful. And then the second thing is also for... A, um, I got confirmed to do a poster for a Slovenian organization and the poster is going to be in every elementary school and kindergarten in Slovenia. <laughs> Which... Um, I want to make my cousins proud, so I'm going to do a really good job. So nice to <laughs> to take this camera out and to have someone to, to talk about all this stuff that I'm so excited about. I did a quick animation trial of the sketch that I did yesterday, this one. So when I do animation, I just do like a simple GIF in Procreate on my iPad and I just draw a bunch of layers. I make, always make a previous layer transparent, like lower the opacity to draw over the second layer to see if the drawings match up and how the drawing continues the movement. I can actually show you here the video. Let's see, a time-lapse recording of how I did all the layers for the animation. So here, you see there I'm doing the third, the fourth layer, the fifth layer. I'm still am not sure what I'm going to do with the eyes, like, I don't know if they should wink like that. Or I think the transition should be smoother with the eyes somehow. I think it's cute. I'm gonna continue with that tomorrow. So I traced the little sketch with a little bit thicker marker type of brush in Procreate. And let's see, these are all the frames. That all selected. Now I'm going to animated GIF and then you can play here with how fast it goes. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and do one color version as well. Yeah, I don't know how this whole thing happened. I just wanted to do like a simple illustration of the new local park, the Nordbahnhof, and Sometimes I just sit and like I I think I have to have the whole idea in my head before I even start sketching. But this is a note to myself that just start sketching and you never know what you come up with. And this was so random, just from a little random sketch, this whole little animation came out of. I'm trying something new here. I'm using this airbrush to color. It's my lunch and I did a little preview of the animation with the airbrush thingy and I don't think it works. See that? Okay, I got them. Two animations now. I'll show you and let me know which one you prefer. The black and white version, just a simple line drawing and animated. I realized that if I save it as animated mp4, not as animated gif, gif, I don't know, the airbrush brush stays looking good how I want it to. And here's that one. I think it's quite a nice effect. It's not like something I would normally do, like this airbrush thing, but I think it looks kind of cool. Let me know which one you prefer. I'm gonna take Eddie now and we're gonna go to Alexanderplatz Decathlon and buy table tennis rackets and balls because we have the little table down there in the courtyard and I wanna get Simi to play <laughs> in the evening. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you like this first week in Berlin vlog and the drawing part. It was a bit random but I hope you're excited for more Berlin stuff and drawing and see you next Sunday.